We are looking at the 94 Ronaldinho Prime Icon. High low, five star skill, four star weak foot, five foot 11. Can play left mid, left wing, or cam. So you've got some chemistry options there. But look at the acceleration, sprint speed, the agility, the balance, the composure. The short pass, the long pass. Short pass a little bit lacking, but the finishing is fantastic. In terms of traits, we've got finesse shot trait and flair and technical dribbler. So technical dribbler means he can ball roll quicker. Flair means he does a little couple skill passes off him by himself, basically, at times. And finesse shot is finesse shot. We talk about chem styles, pricing, and what I thought about the card at the end of the review. We are going to be doing it on foot draft today because he's 7.7 .7 million, and it's the only card on the game at this minute in time. That being said, let's go jump into this game and have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. Ronaldinho on the ball here. Oh, look at how quick he is at the skills. Ball roll scoop. Oh, I tried to do the birth toss bit. Done too many, but you can see how quick he is at doing the skills there. Open up the space so well. Ronaldinho picks it up. Drill it. Good save from the goalkeeper. We'll have a look at his statistics on set pieces. So, Ronaldinho has 86, 90, 90, and 88. So, very, very good stats here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring forward a player. Play it short. Wait for him to run over. And we're going to try this outside the foot shot if we can. Got the space here. Ronaldinho has gone for the no look. And there's a poor shot in the end. That's down to the game because of flair. Not because we pressed the wrong button. Bit of skill. That's a handball. We keep going. Send it to the shot. And it's got a penalty there. We should have actually had an easy shot with Ronaldinho. The ball roll scoop setting our opponent. Let's go take it with Ronaldinho here. Not like it matters on the review that much. But he gets a goal. He gets a goal. Let's see. Gonna fill it into the bottom left, drill it into the bottom left, and great goal there. Ronaldinho getting on a score sheet there, see if we can get another one. Little rainbow flick. Oh, look at the pace of him, he's so fast. I did a ball on scoop, but he couldn't chain it. We're getting back on the set piece again. Here he is now, short. Little rainbow flick, it's been red, unfortunately. Into the roulette between three, and it's a really good defensive move. We do keep the ball. And we got ourselves another penalty from Ronaldinho's dribbling. This card is so quick and elastic dribbling, let alone doing skill moves. You see that we managed to get past Pickford twice and get brought down. Again, we're going to take this on Ronaldinho and we're going to bury it bottom left. See if we can do it back to back in the same game. We've got quite good composure on this. Ronaldinho, bang, bottom corner again. There we go. We've got Ronaldinho peeling off. He's already got his way through. Let's see that our opponent's completely tired. We've got all the space in the world. Ronaldinho, hat-trick hero in this game. This card is ridiculous. His mid that we reviewed on the channel is also very good, but this is like a level up. His explosiveness, his ability to dribble, and his finishing. He's so quick at doing the skill. His less at dribbling, his explosiveness, his passing. Look, all of that in one play. And that's that he fouled twice in that scenario, but that is something he is incredible at doing. Well, he's finishing a little bit inconsistent at times, but that could be just down to me. But in terms of doing skill like that, very unlikely to get away with it. He's just so explosive at doing it. Right, counter-attack. Rodinio out wide. Again, 1-2. That 1-2 play working every time. Little ball roll in. That's a Rodinio on the outside. Left foot across, and what a pass! And what an assist from Ronaldinho, and that's exactly what I was saying that he can do on that left-hand side. One, two plays between the striker and him, driving down that left-hand side, and with his left foot drilling the ball across into the box to smash it in near post to get the assist. And that's something about this Ronaldinho that's extremely underrated. Ball roll scoop, sends it one way. Another one, pass inside, and again, an absolute unbelievable pass. That's two in a row, using the skill move to open up the space and play the ball in with the left foot. So the exact same goal. This is something he is like a cheat code at. Ronaldinho out wide. That is half time. Two assists from Ronaldinho. And you can see exactly how we're using him on that left hand side to open up the space. He got us two penalties with the skill moves in the first game. And now he has got us two assists with the exact same system. We've only had two shots. It's been a really tough game. And we've managed to open up the space of him every time. He's just so good at doing that. Right, let's go counter attack. Ronaldinho picks the ball up. Looking to explode pass. 
Pass one, pass two. Lovely layoff. What a play that is from Ronaldinho there. Sabio looking a bit slow, but not a problem. Back to Ronaldinho, a bit of skill. Still has the ball. You can see how quick his left stick dribbling is. Little pass out. Back to Ronaldinho. Again, the skill. The opponent can't keep up right now. Plays the pass in. And again, absolutely unbelievable weighted pass. And we get ourselves a really bad goal, but we will take it. You can just see the damage and the, the scare of our opponent that Ronaldinho causes. Sitting out on that left-hand side. He can sit on the box. He can play in. He can do whatever he wants. That is going to be a race quit there. We'll have a look at the statistics in this game. He had 22 dribbles, 15 complete, all down that left-hand side. In terms of shooting, we didn't have any shots of him. Try shooting in the first game. Wasn't the greatest, wasn't convinced fully. Doesn't mean he can't do it. Just for me personally, I found better strikers. But his link-up play, he had 20, he had 16 passes completed out of 20. Two assists. He had two goals in the previous game. This card is unbelievable. It is a must-buy if you can afford him. I have reviewed his mid on the channel, but let's go jump onto Footbin now. So the main reason we reviewed him on foot draft is because he's 7.7 .7 million coins extinct. It's only just been the first day these primes have come out. But we did review his mid on the channel. So if you want to go check that out, it's on the channel. As we can see, we compare him now. Plus four on shooting, plus three on passing, only one on pace. So they are very, very similar. The thing I love about this card is he just seems so much more explosive. So much better at passing as well. He is a, an absolute outstanding cam. If you're looking for someone who can play cam or wing, he's definitely a choice. I think left wing is his best position because of how quick he is and how good he is at passing. His finishing, as I mentioned in the gameplay, isn't the most consistent, but that could be down to me. And it could be down to his shot power. So that's one thing I'd really look at boosting is this low shot power here of 86. You would probably look at something like maybe a Hawk to boost it up to a 94 and his pace. If you wanted to play him more in a cam role, He'd be looking for an engine personally, but I don't think he really needs it because his agility and balance is so high. So you could maybe stick a hunter on him to maximize the shooting and the pace. His passing is some of the best passing I've used on a card. He's so, so consistent with it. With his own body type, high-low work rates, he is the perfect winger. He can play up front. I will give him that. He can play as a cam, as I mentioned. I think cam is his best position than left wing just behind it. But at 7.7 .7 million coins, I don't know if it's worth it. Like I said, it'll probably start dropping down in a couple of days or whenever you're watching this video when it's live. But if you have any more questions about this card or any other card in the game, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button and subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.